Hey and welcome to the Daily Manchester United News Show. Let's begin with our daily news. Eric Ten Hag provides fresh injury update on Anthony Martial. Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag is unsure whether Anthony Martial could be available for first team action before the international break this month. The Frenchman has suffered five separate injuries during the ongoing campaign for United. He has already missed 28 games for the club across all competitions. Martial is currently nursing a nagging hip problem, and Ten Hag has refused to provide a suitable time scale for his return to the playing field for the Red Devils. Speaking to reporters yesterday, the Dutch tactician did not confirm whether Martial could be involved for United before the international break on March 20. He told ManUnited.com, I hope but I won't give a prospective time or an expectation about that. Let him do his work as several times now. He has been back and he drops back too quickly. We have to give him the time and I hope he is on board. But first, in this moment, we are doing really well in this step up. When he is available, we will have another option, a good option. Let's give him the time and we will see when he is back. Then we will be happy because we have a quality option extra. For the rest of the season, the 27-year-old has been impressive up front for United one foot. He has scored six goals and provided two assists from a just 720 minutes of playing time. Before the World Cup, Ten Hag admitted that he is the perfect striker for him with his hold-up play and pressing, but the Frenchman has failed to stay unscathed. The manager obviously considers him as a really important player in the squad, but United could decide to cash in on him if he cannot get over his fitness concerns. Ten Hag has now hinted that Martial may not return to action until April. It will be interesting to see whether the Frenchman can remain injury-free for the rest of the season. Otherwise, United could part ways with Martial this summer in order to recoup funds for a marquee striker. Poundit admits being so wrong over Casimiro at Manchester United. Casimiro delivered a man-of-the-match performance for Manchester United in the Carabao Cup final to lead them to a 2-0 win over Newcastle. The Brazilian was named in the FIFA Pro 11 a day later, attending a star-studded awards ceremony in Paris before being welcomed back by his impressed teammates. He has impressed with his attitude and hunger for success, demonstrating he has not just come to United for a late career payday. At 31, Casimiro still has plenty left to offer, and Manchester United are suddenly the envy of the Premier League thanks to his consistently impressive performances, and he is making a few pounds eat their words too. Casimiro cost Manchester United a fee of £60 million back in August, and there were some who questioned his motivations. One of these was former Tottenham and QPR manager Tim Sherwood, who has now admitted he was very wrong. Speaking to the Kelly and Wrighty show on Premier League productions after Manchester United's Carabao Cup win, Sherwood expressed his admiration for the five times Champions League winner. He said, When he first came, I thought he'd come to Man United to fill the teal up. He's done everything at Real Madrid. He can't possibly have the hunger. I was so wrong, so wrong. When that equaliser he scored at Stamford Bridge, you saw the way he celebrated with Man United fans from that moment onwards. I knew this boy was the real deal. He is incredible. He puts out fires, any sorts of danger. He puts it out, but he can also play. Sherwood went on to add, Someone coming in with that desire at his age, you have to take your hat off to him. There cannot be any doubters left at this point, and after his success at Real Madrid, there should not have been any in the first place. But after watching Bastian Schweinsteiger rock up at Manchester United with a stunning CV and a shadow of his former self many years ago, it's understandable why there are sometimes doubts about big names stars heading to Old Trafford in the latter stages of their careers. The difference with Casimiro is, he was a reigning Champions League winner and integral player for Brazil and is still young enough to have a good four or five years left in him at the top level. We just hope he can continue playing like this as long as possible. Casimiro is playing a major role in helping to rejuvenate United and 
At this rate, he will get a chance to star for the club in the Champions League next season. Marco van Basten rates Eric Ten Hag compared to the world's top managers. Netherlands legend Marco van Basten has spoken to talk up Eric Ten Hag after the manager won his first trophy for Manchester United. Ten Hag has turned Manchester United around after the club's worst ever Premier League points total last season. He has ended a six-year trophy drought which was hanging over the club and is determined to go on and win even more with the United still competing in three competitions this season. Ten Hag's tactical awareness and man management skills have both been key to his success and the plaudits are rolling in. Former Manchester United trainer Robbie Savage told BBC Radio 5 Live, Ten Hag is the best manager in the world. Marco van Basten did not go quite this far, but quoted by Vodbol International, he said Ten Hag is among the very best, the former striker said. If you have a hundred trainers, then half are not very special, 45 are bad and 5 are good. Ten Hag is with those five trainers, he is absolutely world class. There is not a Manchester United fan anywhere who would disagree, this has proven to be a difficult job, nearing the impossible over the past decade. Managers have come in with big reputations and failed to really grasp what is required or lacked the tactical and coaching nows that Ten Hag and his staff clearly possess. The Dutchman has a winning mentality which has rubbed off on his players too. His recruitment has been excellent, which has often been a flow for United through the years. Ten Hag isn't too interested in the applause and recognition he receives. He made this clear in the run-up to the cup final. What he is focused on is winning silverware and he is off to the best possible start. Alvaro Fernandez delighted to have a joint Man United from Real Madrid. In an exclusive interview with us, Manchester United youngster Alvaro Fernandez has spoken about his early career with the club after making the move from Real Madrid. The 19-year-old was signed by United from Los Blancos three years ago and he is currently on a season-long loan spell with the Preston North and in the Championship. The Spaniard has managed four assists in 29 appearances thus far and he is delighted to have got the opportunity to play regular first-team football this season. He told us, I have more than 1,800 minutes and 29 games, so yes, very good, it's what I wanted, there is a good relationship between clubs, I had good options for the championship and some other league, but they recommended me to come here, some came from Spain, but Manchester United remained firm, there were purchases there were purchase options and they were not willing. When asked about his decision to leave Madrid in 2020, Fernandez added that he wanted to grow in football and United came with an incredible proposal for him. He added, What I wanted was to grow in football and United came with an incredible proposal. Thank God I am now alone in the second division with a United first team card. Luckily, it didn't go bad at all. I wanted to play with adults and I am already playing in the second English at the age of 19. The Spaniard is unsure over his future after his temporary stint at Deepdale but remains hopeful of making his Red Devils debut under manager Eric Ten Hag at some point. He concluded, hopefully, let's see what decision they make in Manchester in the summer. I haven't talked to them at the moment. I am here now and I am just thinking about my club and let's see what happens in the summer. The decision they make, they are in charge, the time will come to debut with United. Jeremy Frimpong still on Man United's radar. According to reputed journalist Florian Plattenberg, Bayer Leverkusen defender Jeremy Frimpong remains on the radar of Manchester United. The Dutch right-back has had an impressive season for Leverkusen, bagging 5 goals and 7 assists from 30 appearances, across all competitions. His form has caught the eye of several elite European clubs and it has been widely reported that United are monitoring him ahead of a possible transfer. Plattenberg now claims that the 22-year-old is still on the Red Devils radar, but no contact has been made with his agent or Leverkusen as of now. Frimpong is currently contracted to the Bundesliga outfit until June 2025, but he is prepared to take the next step in his career at the end of the season. Earlier in the campaign, Diogo Dalo was United's undisputed choice in the right-back role. 
Aaron Wan Bissaka played just four minutes before the World Cup, it was widely predicted that Wan Bissaka could be sold for an attacking right back, but the situation has completely changed with the 25 year old's mini revival. Since the World Cup, Wan Bissaka has been fantastic defensively in the Carabao Cup final. He won 8 duels and 7 tackles despite only coming on at half time. He completely nullified the Magpies threat from the left flank and there is now a big question mark over whether manager Eric Ten Hag will pursue another right back. Frimpong is better going forward compared to Dalo and Wan Bissaka, but may take time to adapt to the Premier League. Bundesliga stars have generally taken longer to settle. The Dutchman, who has been described as incredibly fast by Leverkusen sporting director Simon Rolves, could be available for just 25 million euros during the summer. He would be a bargain signing for the price mentioned, but in our opinion Ten Hag could decide to stick with Dalo and Juan Bissaka as his right-back options next season. Dalot's current deal expires in June next year, but United are in advanced talks over a new contract. Manchester United interested in 70 million pound rated Inter Milan midfielder Nicolo Barella. Inter Milan star Nicolo Barella, who has been rated at 70 million pound, is attracting interest from Manchester United, according to Gazzetta dello Sport. The midfielder has been earmarked by the Red Devils as a potential signing for the upcoming transfer window. Eric Ten Hag is keen to add reinforcements in the middle of the park next summer. Apart from the Old Trafford side, Premier League rivals Manchester City and Liverpool are also eyeing the 26-year-old. His current contract with the Nerazzurri expires in the summer of 2026. Barella made his way to enter in the summer of 2019 from Cagliari. Since then, the Italy international has developed into one of the finest players in Serie A. He has been a key player for the Nerazzurri over the years. In the 2021 season, the midfielder helped enter to win the Scudetto after an 11-year gap. He also played a role in Italy's Euro 2020 triumph. In the current campaign, the 26-year-old has once again been pivotal for Simon and Zaghi's team. He has made 31 appearances in all competitions in the number 8 position, scoring 6 goals and providing 7 assists. Last summer, United signed Casimero and Christian Eriksen to bolster the engine room. The Gio have been impressive in their short time at the Old Trafford side. The Denmark international has been deployed alongside the Brazil in a double midfield pivot on most occasions by Eric Ten Hag. However, the former Tottenham Hotspur star has more license to go forward and be creative. However, in the absence of Eriksen, there seems to be no advocate back up on the bench for the Red Devils. Barella is someone with immense talent, but will the Manchester-based club pursue the 26-year-old signature in the coming months? Only time will tell. Man United linked with shock move for Chelsea midfielder Mason Mount. Manchester United have been mentioned as surprise candidates to sign Chelsea midfielder Mason Mount at the end of the season, as per the Telegraph. The 24-year-old has just 16 months remaining in his contract, with the Blues and the club have yet to convince him to put pen to paper on a renewal. This has led to speculation that he could be sold in the summer, and the Telegraph claimed that United are one of the clubs interested in landing his services. Aside from United, Liverpool and Manchester City have also been linked with the England international. Mount has been a fantastic player for the Blues. He has registered 33 goals and 37 assists from 192 appearances for them across all competitions. The 75 million euros rated star is primarily an attacking midfielder by trade and this is a position which United have well covered with Bruno Fernandes at the moment. Fernandes has been sensational since his arrival from Sporting Lisbon three years ago. He has been an undisputed starter for the club without any injury record. Hence, a transfer for Mount seems unlikely in our opinion. United could instead focus on landing a central midfielder who can also operate in the number 10 role. Mount has played in a three-man midfield for Chelsea on occasions, but he is not the most effective and has been prone to losing key duels for the Blues. In our view, Borussia Dortmund's Jude Bellingham would be the perfect midfield signing for United as he provides the right balance in attack and defence.
I will be uploading daily Manchester United news, so keep your eyes on the channel and don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate your support. Peace out.